What's up everyone, it's Prometheus, and today we're gonna brew coffee using vinegar. So let's dive straight in. We're gonna use one and a half cups of coffee, and the type of coffee doesn't really matter, it's up to your preference. I have this land speed blend from Middle State, which is two Ethiopians, and we're gonna grind this up nice and coarse, and we're gonna do all the coffee. If you have a smaller grinder like the Niche, you may have to grind a couple different times. Next up, we're gonna grab our vinegar. I'm using an orange mango passion fruit balsamic vinegar for this recipe. The coffee does have some mango notes, so I thought this would go together really well, but there are some complications to this that I'll talk about a little bit later. So we're gonna use one and a half cups of balsamic vinegar, and as you can see, it's a little thicker than I thought. I feel like a thinner balsamic vinegar might work out better, but we're gonna add the vinegar to the coffee, and don't be shy, just pour it straight in. Next up, we're gonna measure out half a cup of water and we're gonna just add that to the mix. Next up, we're gonna mix everything together. So go ahead and take your time here. Make sure there are no dry clumps or anything floating around the bowl. We wanna make sure that this is all gonna extract evenly over the time it spends sitting. Once it's all mixed up, go ahead and cover it and then leave it on the counter. 24 hours later. All right, now that we're all brewed up, let's check it out. So since I use that really thick vinegar, you can see it's created a very thick sort of sludge. It's gonna make it a little more difficult to filter, but let's just dive in. So first things first, let's strain the coffee grinds as much as we can anyway. I'm using the sieve to try and dump out or remove as many of the coffee grounds as possible. This does take a little time. As you can see, it's a slow process. Also, I can see that there's some coffee grounds coming through the sieve. It's not quite as fine as I want it to be or smooth. So we're going to put it into another container, add our sweeteners, and then I'm gonna filter it a second time. So once we get it into a different container, we're gonna add six tablespoons of agave syrup, and then we're gonna follow that up with six tablespoons of maple syrup. Of course, you can adjust this however you'd like. If you like it a little bit sweeter, a little less sweet, this is kind of in the medium range of sweetness. Next up, I'm gonna use a cheesecloth filter to really take out the rest of those grinds because no one wants coffee grinds floating around in their drink. Now this process is going to take a while. Uh, you can definitely agitate it with a spoon and kind of push it through over time, but don't expect this to happen within five minutes. And I think that's part of the issue with using that really thick balsamic vinegar. Next, grab your container, whatever you're gonna store it in, and pour the syrup or the reduction into the bottle. Now let's make the drink. So we've got our glass, we've got our ice, we've got our two ounces of syrup, and we're gonna add our sparkling water and give it a quick stir. And what we're left with is a coffee shrub. A shrub is basically a syrup or concentration made of vinegar, fruits, and other sugars. So we're at it. Now it's time to enjoy. Now a couple things about the coffee shrub. I think that it tastes like a coffee soda with more sweetness and a subtle acidity. The vinegar isn't very noticeable overall, but it does provide a slight bite to the drink, which is something I enjoy, but might not be for everybody. Uh, think of something more like a uh, kombucha or something like that, where it has that slight little kick to it. It makes like a vinegar-based cold brew concentrate and lasts four weeks in your refrigerator. It works with any coffee and balsamic vinegar, and it's a good option for cocktails and mocktails, but I would recommend using a bit thinner of a vinegar because I think it'll make the filtration process a little bit quicker. I'd say overall, this is definitely worth a shot. Try it out, see if you like it. You can always have a little fun with it. I garnished mine with a little bit of mango because I had some mango around, and mango was one of the tasting notes for the coffee as well as in the balsamic vinegar that I chose. So, you know, have some fun with it. Share your results, let me know your thoughts. A big thank you to my March Patreon supporters, Ads, James, David, Ninja Warrior Coffee, Christopher, John K, Matthew, Squeegee, Roe, Brian, Robert, Lisa, Thomas B, Andre, Thomas S, Noel, Spookus, Bound Coffee, Mika, Samantha, Nathan, Aiden, Jonathan, Claire, and Steven. And of course, a big thanks to my barista and barback tiers. If you want information on the Patreon, it's in the link in the description. And of course, last but not least, a big thank you to you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that little bell button for notifications for new videos every Friday. Follow me on Instagram at Sprometheus for content throughout the week, my blog at Sprometheus.com, and as always, stay caffeinated, pony boy.